Hello, my name is Cthulhu, or Monster. Welcome back to one of my ATM Gravitas 2 spotlights. Um, I am planning on looking into uh, how I set up these miners uh, behind us. I have both the steam, the low voltage, and the uh, medium voltage miners there, and I plan to set these up in individual episodes. Uh, today's episode is going to be, uh, oddly enough, the low voltage one, because it's the easiest for me to do during my lunch hour. <laughs> All right, so let me uh, get to it. Well, let's set up our basic miner instead and see how that one works. I'm going to put up a few. One, I'm going to take a quick look again. Once again, this is 100% something that once you get this uh, LV dealio, I strongly recommend it. It's really, really helpful. Um, it looks like both this one and that uh, in that chunk are the ones I'm going to want to grab. So I'm going to put uh, a few chest down first. Um, I tend to do this just because I don't like to dig out for putting chests, so I'll put two or three. I'm just using a basic miner, so uh, three is more than enough, or, or two generally is more than enough, so yeah, I'm just going to stop there. All right, I don't care if it's hooked up sideways to start. Um, I'm going to put my steam turbine on here. And this is where I strongly recommend using your wrench because your wrench will um, make it so you don't have to break the system. I'm going to disable this until I get a decent amount of um, actual liquid going on there. And my favorite way to do this is actually going to be to put two liquid steam boilers on. And if you have access to a barrel with water, I strongly recommend it um, because this barrel of water Sorry, this drum of water can actually be used here, and that could be very helpful. Um, what we will do here, though, is... So I got this water here. I'm just going to create an infinite water source. And I definitely know that uh, when I do the steam one, which, I, to be honest, I probably am going to cut to being ahead of this one, um, it's a lot easier to do. So I don't know why I need to make it that big, but I did. And what way I like to fill barrels, especially if I plan on using a whole barrel as a source here, is, um, sorry, drums, is to just literally use the barrel. It's, it's uh, very helpful. And then I can just put this back. What I plan on doing is grabbing a, um, what I plan on doing is basically having these boilers just directly have, share a face with each of these, um, with the turbine here. So I'm just going to organize it so it goes that way. Um, it may need to be the complete opposite side. We'll give it a test. Um, I'm going to originally just go with the direct to the side. And then I'm going to put a single pipe, or you can do more. I'm going to put a pipe there. And you can direct the, uh, the direction of the flow if you wanted to. But in this case, I definitely want to make sure I don't because I want it to go equal distance. And in this case, now I can put my barrel of water here. All right, and I'm going to put it here. And now if I take a screwdriver, which I forgot to bring, so I'm just going to set up my uh, waystone. Oh, it saves these now. That's nice. Monsters lead up my stone. In a perfect world, I'd actually use a MV one here because it needs the longer distance. Uh, but obviously, that's not necessary at the moment. So this is a thing full of water. And if I click there, which is the output, you'll see that down in the bottom left, it says that it will drain fluid downward into adjacent tanks. So now these guys are going to have full water. And to fill this as I go, what I'm just going to do is once again, just grab that barrel here. Looks like I sorted my inventory uh, by accident there. So I'm just going to fill that barrel up. So I'm full again. Um, I'm going to put more in there. And I want as much water as this area can take pretty much <laughs> because I just, I'm always nervous that it's going to explode. Um, to be honest, I've lost a few miners this way, and um, that unfortunately is not joking. So now I'm going to grab my other drum or my barrel um, and fill right here, which is my fluid. So now that's going to be starting to warm up and same here. And I'm just going to make sure that this gains all of its power and this gains um, goes past that 180s. Um, 180 seconds is when it's talking about what is it called? 
is as it's heating up from my understanding because you can see that the temperature is really in the low side there and if i really wanted this uh miner to be working right now you can always plan on putting a battery buffer between it and have charged your batteries at your home base but i think this is perfectly doable um i'll come back generally and turn them on because i'm a wasteful soul uh but otherwise i just let it uh let it tick through but um, yeah, so for the moment, I'm planning on just setting up miners, aiming for the stuff I need, and then I'll aim further. So, okay, so now I can see my steam's building up. I'm not seeing any go into this miner, so that's where I believe it is correct, where I have to turn it. Yep, so I have to turn it fully to the outside. Maybe? Let me see if I can turn it to the side. Okay, so any direction but approaching it face first looks like the answer. Nice. Okay, well, I like to see him on the out, because I think that's kind of cool. All right, and my goal is, you see that four buckets there? I want that full up, but I also want these to be pretty full. Um, I do know from my experience that both of these are going to do 30, um, 30 ticks per. So if I looked up the high pressure uh, uh, liquid boilers, so they're going to do 30 ticks per. And I know my LV one here is going to be um, using 32 EU per tick, which is the maximum for low voltage. Um, so this is one of those, like, it's not like a, a little low voltage recipe. It's it's maximum there. So I want to make sure that this uh, wind turbine, sorry, the steam turbine can get as much um, steam as possible. All right. I'm going to give it a few more moments here to speed up, and then I'll take a look. And you can see that the 15 buckets is uh, one bucket of creosote has already been used. It actually might be more than that. So if I take a quick look here, yeah, so it's half a bucket of creosote has been used and I'm only about two thirds of the temperature up. And you can see I used about a bucket of water between the two. Um, I don't have the exacts on that. And I can't sleep. But yeah, this with the screwdriver on the bottom of these was a game changer for me. That was so frustrating. I was so confused on why I could see an outlet on a drum, and then I just took me a moment to actually look there. Since I am seeing almost a one-to-one -one with the creosote, I'm trying to figure out if I trust topping off the creosote, but I don't think I will this time. I know exactly how much water is between here, so this is 16 buckets per, and then I had 64 in here. So um, this will tell me what does 32 buckets of creosote do for a miner and I think that'll be a good like just exercise to have and and work up to something that works I don't have all of the math on the demands here so I don't know um, how much steam it takes for each EU here on this generator and that's really what's kind of kicking my trans using math to figure this out <laughs> so I'm gonna do a few tests you know and um, I think that's something that you know we don't we won't always have access to that and that's perfectly fine all right, now you can see these are actually ticking up a lot faster, which is great. And now I'm going to turn on this miner and see how this works. All right, so steam is dropping, so it's 11 and 12, and it will pull from one side more than the other. Um, it will. This will probably be its backup potentially. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's different. Ignore me. I'm just talking stuffs. All right, so day again. So yeah, so it looks like this is able to maintain so far. I'm seeing, you know, up to 16. This one's climbing still. This is climbing and you could see that I'm not really seeing that tag below, what, 16 here? So I'd have to keep an eye to see if it, if it dropped before 2000, I know that there's a slight difference here, but it looks like it's good enough. And yeah, so I'm going to run this and see how it goes. But this would be my ideal setup for this uh, type of system. It's not too hard to set up if you have access to a bucket. Um, if you don't have access to a bucket, a drum is perfectly fine. Um, and we'll do a test here just to see how many buckets can of creosote can be burnt with 62, because I could get a ratio from this. Now I'm just staring at it. All right. Got to go back to work.